right, every single day I park in that spot and I always think to myself yeah I've done it properly I've nailed it I'm going in like the right oh yeah no I am off it, but it feels like I'm going in perfectly every time all right I know the audio has been so bad on these last few videos and I am sorry I think so when I first got this DJI mic, I was to make a video for DJI on it. So I got it before it was released properly. Those doggies. Oh, Duda! Please do be quiet. That was Queen Elizabeth. May she rest in peace. Um, Right, and then just it's, this was so bad at being able to hear whatever you were saying. That's very technical talk. <laughs> so I adjusted the what you call the receiver gain or transceiver gain. It's one of those two. It's so like pump it up so whatever comes into here gets boosted as it gets recorded. But then as an update came out, it fixed that and I forgot to change that. So here we are. Yes, and uh, first thing is, we cleaned the room yesterday, but I forgot about all these Amazon items. So I'm gonna set those up for return quickly. And I just spoke with my manager. First of all, today's Friday the 13th, so he's getting out of the city. And being in Kansas City, not really, there's not a great deal that happens here. So don't let me, Talk too far in advance of it. I might be chilling, but pretty scary times in this world. And I hope, I, I really do hope that, you know, people stay safe. That seemed very disingenuine, didn't it? <laughs> but really, I do. I guess it's awful. But yeah, I had a good chat about these videos. Uh, God, now I'm realizing I have to blur what's up here. And like seeing the, speaking to the manager, my manager and you know, people he works with too, seeing the trend of where we think YouTube is going or where we think, you know, what people want. And we think it is like this type of content where you just like are talking. Now I'll tell you what, I have so many um, questions, like the, the 15, the 30, the 60 second pauses that I have in these videos should I be keeping those in? Because if I remove them, then I'm taking away some of that authenticity. And even subconsciously, like you might be thinking, oh, I can see it's like kind of edited now. He's taking out certain parts. But actually my thought process is, I'm trying to save you time. Like on the pauses, like nothing really happens. So then I'm thinking, what if those pauses actually just like add to it? Maybe, you know, that's that's just part of it. Like you see the the way I think, right? Thinking through these things. So I don't know. I mean, you know, if anyone's watching this, <laughs> uh, then then let me know. So we're gonna run a test and see see how that works. But I tell you what, it is it's really nice. And I can really see this coming into. Duda! I've never said her name like that. <gasps> Come here. Come on, darling, find your chariot. Good girl. I don't remember what I was saying. Was I saying that, like, that I'm really enjoying this? Hi, Duda. Ew. Bro, stay, stay, stay. Good girl. Oh, that's nasty, isn't it? Okay, I think two more things to send back. It's it's amazing to me. Um, is it in the factory seal? No. Not needed or used. But I'm slowly realizing that I'm actually pretty useless at multitasking. However, I will say, I really don't believe that multitasking 
is a real thing. I don't think you can be good at doing two things at once. I think we have, like, let's let's talk about our brain in terms of capacity. You have zero or 100% capacity. And doing one task, what, 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 you have that 100% capacity. If you split that between two tasks, you're splitting it, I don't know, 70, 30 or 50, 50 or whatever. You're never putting all your thought into one of those. This is absolutely vile, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, bought my mistake. Mistaken purchase. I think that's it. Return less refunds to your Amazon account. Hell yeah, dude. I just got fart spray for free. That's a steal right there. Couldn't be more excited. Okay, that's done so I can get that, those out of the room. Wash my hand off now. Do you need to go back out? No more barking, okay? Hey, you be a good girl. No more barking, all right? Okay, go see Rugi and Shay Shay. Good girl. Fart spray, I get to keep that. Do Hi, Duda. Permanent marker, you can go away. Um, all right, there are a few things that I want to start investing in that are not, they're not fun purchases, right? So I'm not, I'm not looking to spend money just to spend money. There are two aspects in life. Really, they kind of filter back to the same thing, if I think out loud. So. First thing, side note, I've got lip salve on, so. All right, first thing, streamlining life, making life easier, taking out the things you don't want to do or don't want to think about. So like our dishwasher is like semi breaking down and I fixed it enough that it'll keep going for a while and then I'll have to fix it again. But as we have a new baby coming in late January, um, we don't have to worry about that kind of thing, but for right now, since I've just quit my job and moved into doing this full time, um, we've got the savings and whatnot, but I don't want to eat into that to go and get a new dishwasher. So the idea is that things get progressing over the next few months as planned to have the extra income to spend on those things. And then ideally hire someone to clean the house once a week. I know that seems extravagant, but no one really likes cleaning their house, right? unless you've just taken Adderall. And even then, it's not because you really want to clean the house, it's because you're procrastinating. And that's the only thing you can think of doing. <laughs> and then in this term, this side of life, like I want to buy products that make my life easier. So like in the car this morning, the tripod was falling all over the place. So what if I get like a, a suction cup to go on the, the window or something that the camera just sits on? which for that I also want to buy a load of like quick release um, tools, tools. And by quick release, oh gosh, this was meant to be a quick example. Where is it? Oh goodness me. There it is. Quick release is like, slow explanation. All right, so camera would be on top of here. Quick release, just notch, pick apart, and then you're good to go. So having one certain system that sits on all of my like tripods and whatnot, and so I can just clip in and go rather than having to like screw a camera onto a tripod, get it into the right position. And then of course the hard drives that we would that I was kind of talking about yesterday, that we were talking about. <laughs> this is just all one monologue, isn't it? Like I want to invest in those so I don't have to worry about data again because it's just silly annoying. Yeah? Okay, let me say bye to Rooks. Sorry?
Okay, let's see if Hamas has gotten you. Not to be confused with hummus. Hey, look. Oh, it's a, you're eating out of Lila's bowl. She's like a third your size. Good girl, Duda. Okay. Come on, Ruby, come on. Enjoy your walkies. You're going for a walkie with mummy. With mum. You want to take T-Rex with you? Take T-Rex with you. Dude, come on or else I'm going to leave you. <sighs> Just come round. Come on round. Ruga, come round. You're going for a walk with mummies. Good job. Go on then. Run, 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 run. Good job. That was very smart. All right, come get it from mummies. Come on. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Bye, Woogies. I see soonsies. Oh, that's Duda on my shirt. Yeah, that's Duda. Good boy. Bye, Woogies. Dude, <laughs> it's so cute. So this is one of my merch pieces, and he's just, this <laughs> the little man recognizes that it's Duda, our dog. He just looks at you. Duda. My wife designed this one. I took the photo, and then my wife designed it. That's not fair, actually. Um, I did the naming, and she did the bubbles and stuff around it, which I think is the best bit. My focus for right now was going to be on getting the accounts created and clips created. So, yes, Oliver, we should do that. No, before I do that, I need to send a reply to this email. Let's get this video sorted. Close one loop. Because um, I sent the video last night. Probably no. Sent the video last night to get uh, reviewed and approved, which was the needle mat video with the anchor charger. You know, as I was at the gym this morning, I think I saved a few TikToks. Get off of my video, liked videos. Honestly, when I see a video like this, it makes me really want to just stay up late, like after we put Rugi down, and I can just come and work for like three, four hours. I love working when it's dark outside, and just like have a couple of lights on in here. Really nice. I love that type of vibe. But then it messes with the sleep cycle. I love, uh, have you seen the videos where people think Messi is autistic? You get one I'm gonna give you one more chance to say whatever you want. This video, this isn't exactly how I feel, but why does it the For You page just links you up with content that you didn't even know you would be interested in? Like, how does it know? How does it know I just quit my job? I'm gonna say now, make this shit good. Talk to all these people. Fuck you. Yes! Whoa! I'm not gonna lie, the first time I watched this, I didn't realize it was a kid that said that. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. Me? <laughs> Just hanging around. I, <laughs> I sent this to my cousin. Him and I might play Fortnite once a week. Both of us are trash. Uh, but, like, we find Beetlejuice pretty funny. And he's got a long-time girlfriend. I've obviously got um, a long-time side piece. <laughs> it's not even funny, is it? Again. Your football is great. I mean, you're a mid Oh, dude. I... There are... When you think of professional athletes, you think of... Just they must be really athletic and they're just really good at the game. I... It, it took me a couple of... It, a couple of years ago, maybe a bit longer, I realised that these guys, like professional athletes, professional footballers, soccer players rugby players, they have they have a genius at what they do, right? They're actually geniuses, the same way you'd call like Steve Jobs or Bill Gates a genius. Like you'd say footballers for the most part seem pretty stupid overall when they talk about life. But when it comes to the game of football or soccer, they're just, they're so mature. They think through things so much faster. They think differently, which which is I think, come on, is the major difference between a player 
that is very good, very athletic, and you know would would school most people to a player that makes it the top level. And then this guy Jude Bellingham, he is twenty years old, and just the maturity in him is just insane. And when I think about me at twenty, I think at twenty, I almost got kicked out of college because I just didn't get the grades and didn't know what I was doing. I literally had to write a letter pleading to get back in the college. And then I turned my life around because I was a bit of a, a muppet until then. 28, yeah. Oh, you're not 28. 20. Yeah, dude. And then this guy, Jack Mould. Like, him and I have spoken, you know, we text. Up until recently, we text quite often. Over He's just unreal at it. Actually, gum goes down the same way... This is the second part of the chewing gum video of the flavor in US gum versus US gum, which one lasts longer. And at the end of the video, I say, like the myth is that it stays in your system for seven years if you swallow it. And this guy's commented, actually gum goes down the same way as any food, but the acid in stomachs can't break the gum down. So gum stays intact when you poop it out. Now, honestly, what I'm hearing from that is you could, if done right, you could fart and make a chewing gum bubble. That's what I'm hearing. New side quest. <laughs> what do I say back to that? Might do a video reply. I don't know. That's not the that's not the priority. Um, all right, I'll come back to that. Okay. So right now. This was the final change that the brand wanted. So I am, um, I've exported the video with the um, watermark for them to review. And then I'm also just go, uh, gonna export it without the watermark so that I don't have to come back to this again because that was the only change they wanted. And then, you can basically close out this video. Damn, 25 minutes of gibberish right here. I don't know if, you know, if you've been following the videos. I, if I'm sitting down to edit the whole video, I'll use this. But if I'm just editing small bits, I won't bother touching that. But this is, this is the, yeah, it's the MX Master 3. This is such a good mouse. Like you have one button, two, three, you know, up and down. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, that you can customize between each application. Yeah, I'll leave a link to it below. I would, I highly recommend this mouse. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you do, whoa, baby. So in my response here to this brand, because it goes through this weird campaign and it ended up getting like. I want to put the video out at two o'clock, end up getting approved at like 6 a.m. this morning, which isn't necessarily going to kill the video, but it's not optimal. So I'm going to message the brand saying that I would like for them to approve it around 2 p.m. CST. And like and my manager, I was, I was mentioned it to my manager and he was saying, unfortunately, that is 4 a.m. their time which isn't ideal, but you know, the, the reason it goes through this campaign is so that they can see the analytics from it. So like it's a benefit to them, but they're also paying for the content. So why wouldn't they you know, want it to be optimized in terms of time it goes live? All right, let me re reply to this email, get the um, fan account set up, and then we'll get into getting some content pushed to them. Yeah, let's get CapCut open and see if we can start adding these shots underneath and then the captions. And then I think we get a couple posted today. Why not? So what I should really do once I, because I've already started now, script the video, what's it really? I think next time I go through this process, I'll time how long it takes to make 
10 clips and start figuring out that because maybe doing 60 from each video is just too much for me to be able to handle, which will then stop me from doing it and stop me from finishing other things. All right, let's do 55. And this is experimentations. Experimentations, bro, that isn't even a word. Okay, let's get you all on the timeline. Let's get some gameplay on the timeline. Subway Surfers, come on, boy. I want you underneath. I would like you underneath. So what then, you fam gotta go on top. Subway Surfers, how do I use this? Position, oh. Can I just move you? Oh, that's why. I think because... Yeah, because I exported it with a black screen, not a transparent background. Jinkies, dude. All right, here we go. Wow. So then now I just make this a bit bigger. Come up a little bit. I need to go bigger again. All right, so we've got subway surfers in. And I need to bring all of these clips underneath. And then I'll get the other ones in too. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I can't do, I'll do, wait to do captions for a second, I'll wait for the rest of these to finish. So I don't know what tools are in here, like could I just select a range? Because right now, this is about to export a whole, it's about to export all of this and then I'll have to go in and cut it up again and export again, which obviously I'm not in the business of. So what tools do we have? Crop, rotate, mirror, reverse, freeze, delete right, delete left. That's kind of cool, remove the filler words. Oh, here. Select leftward. If I go, do I have to cut that? What the hell does select leftward mean? If I cut that. I feel like I might be in trouble here. And the trouble is that I can't select small ranges to export, which means if I want to add captions, oh no. Then I'd have to bring I'd have to export this whole thing, take it back into Final Cut Pro, and then essentially just do what I just did. So I think what my process is gonna be in future is just export 
all of my clips as one video from Final Cut Pro. It's going to bring it into here. And then I add the captions. Excuse me, right? And then I export it from here to get back into, unless I can just do, no, because the captions don't work as well as the, the ones in here. Ugh. Man, I feel like a woman. I guess I should probably just search first if CapCut export range, export part of a video. Wow, what a hunk. That's not from Saskatchewan. Around here, so how to do it? It's really simple. Move the playhead to the first frame or from where you want to start the export. Suppose from here. Then press on I for in, then move to the end of the oh. export, suppose here, then press on O for out. As you can see, now this part is selected. Now if we try to export, and export it with default setting. Okay, all right, cheers buddy. Cap cut. I mean, yeah, that's super annoying. Oh no, I don't need to do that yet, do I? Because I need to add the text. Yeah, let's go captions, shall we? Text. Auto captions. Create. Juicy, let's see how this does. Meanwhile, today's video is doing rubbish. But while we do that, let's look at the video thumbnail for today. I didn't pick any out. Don't need you to render, lad. Once that closes, I'll open this back up. Yeah, it's really messing me with me that I'm two days ahead on the videos. Actually, could just make the edits again, couldn't I? But can he be asked? So I'm going to use this initial shot as the profile picture, like this one. Go back into here. Throw it into there. We don't need it cropped in like that, bruv. Oh, it's wet, isn't it? <laughs> I think that'll do. I think that is a good thumb. I'm not going to clips, is it? Here. Um, I don't think we need any text on that. I think we just 
be like, what's up? <laughs> cool. Okay. Close library template. Back in here. What did I just close? Uh, oh yeah. I also don't need this. And CapCut, how are we doing, bruv? Got me realizing that on... Okay, select all of these. Animation, should we get some... Bro, system font. Let's use a template, shall we? And then we change that to... Where's Cherub? matter too much, let's just go for something weird. Mosh BD. Are you downloading or are you going to be used? What I'm, my initial, I had this plan that I would um, d do like different types of text animation and then export the different ones so that each of the different accounts could have a different look to the text. But now that I think about it, I'm going to have to be exporting each one of these individually, which means that if there are 60 clips here, I'm going to have to do this 60, 120, 180 times. That's just for three accounts. Then I probably don't post the same content to each account. Or do I? This is like its own, you know, I'm seeing this now, this is like its own full-time job. Trying to get this bit done. I really need to find someone for this, don't I? Am I thinking about this clearly enough? I have one video which has lots of different clips in it, but there's stuff that needs to be taken out. So I feel like step one is to take all those bits out. Step two is to add video and captions onto it. Step three is to Export and step four is to post. And it's step two that I want to reiterate. Yeah, because I can't I can't keep this up. <laughs> I only just started it, but I can't I can't do this. Alright. Then I think I'll finish this like it's twelve o'clock already. I didn't get started until like 10 today, so I've been going two hours. So it's taking me bloody hell, it's taking me two hours already just to get to this point. God, I need a needle mat to bloody vent and relax, don't I? All right. All right, while this goes in the background, let's plan out the let's plan out the needle mat TikTok, all right? Yeah, let's do that. All right, CapCut just finished a lot of them right as I was about to switch over tasks. So, we've got 10 videos here. And I'm thinking 
like let's say here I've got 60 clips. If I do 10 of them with one set of subtitles and then throw that onto one account, the next 10 have a different subtitle that goes to a different account. What if that's the way? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Like I'm not really, I, I am, but I'm not. I'm not, but I am trying to hide the fact that I'm the person running the account, like they're not real fan accounts. Well, they are, because I'm a huge fan of myself. But, yeah, like I don't want someone to be like, whoa, all of these have the same content. I'll tell you what, I think I'm overthinking it right now. I think I'm overthinking it, because then I start thinking about like, what caption am I going to use and blah, blah, blah. If I just send these to my phone and start just pushing them out. Let's try it. Oh, goodness sake. All right, let's go to start screen recording. Oh, right, shorts. Let's get let's get a couple up here. Get the lamp in the right. Oh, this is a new one. Post, upload. Uh, how are we going to do this? That's the first one. Uh, what I want to do is captions, just I'd write all over right. What a fan accounts right? Worked really well for Tate, didn't it? Tate fan. Fishing with Tate. Um, have they all? Have the, all the accounts gone? What? Whoa, that's nuts. And no accounts here with over, let's say, a thousand followers. Let's see, clicks. I think I just saw his name, clicks fan. Right, I'm, I'm just gonna start going. All right. Well, we're just going to go pretty basic. Um, all right. Content creator. All over right. YouTube. We'll put FYP in there. People seem to do that. Copy. I guess we'll just use that one across each video as if it's a template. And then post. Then like now, do I just post the same video to each of the accounts? <laughs> or do I like post all 10 of them to this account? And then do the same to the other accounts? Because like, I don't want to have to, like, I'll set it up as a auto publish with some app later. But for right now, I don't want to be like every hour or two be like, oh, okay, now I have to post a new one. Let's just 
just post them. Okay, I think we're close. That's it. So we've got 10 posted in like no time at all. So yeah, there's five. Pod vlog was meant to be a hashtag I would use. Okay. Well, that was pretty easy, wasn't it? And now we just watch my YouTube go up by hundreds of thousands. There's 10 videos ASAP. That was really pretty easy, wasn't it? Hmm. I quite liked how simple the posting part was. Just like one time a day, start spamming? No. Let's post 10 to each of these accounts and then just see how those do over the next few days, right? Let's, should we do that? Yes, let's do that. So I'm just gonna do the same thing again. <laughs> okay, I've had some thoughts. Like I was about to delete the first 10 videos off my phone and I realized that actually those also need to go to Instagram and to YouTube. So I thought about, like I need a scheduler, that needs to happen. So if I set, uh, I was just looking at social pilot seems to be a decent one. And I need to go and create the YouTube and Instagram accounts. Hello. Wasn't sure the mic was on. All right, so I'll create those accounts and then get these videos set up into Social Pilot. Then I don't have to do it from my phone and it's all automated. Okay. All right, every now and again, I really enjoy tasks that take like no mental capacity. It's just like rolling through it. So we've got all of the accounts set up on TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram, kind of. Social pilot right now, I've got the accounts connected. I haven't bothered with Instagram because Instagram's a bull bag anyway. And I'm just going through social pilot now to see if I can, like what it's like to schedule a post. So it looks like I'm in the single post upload option. So I'm thinking, let's give it a go. So I upload the video there, do I also Do I also upload it here? Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Um, after this, I'll try the bulk scheduler and see, see what's happening there. Let's add to queue. That's good to be able to see that. Share now. Please upload a video. Darling, I have. We're not off to a great start here, are we? All right, so as I'm thinking about this, this is $30 a month, 14 day free trial, we'll see how it is. But if I can bulk upload, I think what I'm gonna have to do is, the files I want to upload, I'll have to put in a Google Drive. I'm not sure, I don't know what I'm saying because I haven't worked this out yet. So I think, 
Like, what's going on here? Feed content. Uh, yeah, discard, because... Let's just do the bulk version and see what this looks like. What does this mean? So I would assume then that the link here is just, what was that doing? Oh yeah, to boost your posting efficiency, Social Pilot provides you with a bulk scheduling, an easy way to create a large number of posts, up to 500 to be exact. Wow. You can do this by using a CSV or text file. Sneak peek. There are three steps when you're scheduling in bulk. Upload, review, and select account. Uploading posts for bulk scheduling needs a CSV file. You can download a sample CSV file from here. There are four important columns here. The description of the post goes in the first column. You can include text, mentions, and links in this column. If you want to add an image to the post, you should upload the image to data storage clouds like Google Drive and copy the image link into the second column. The schedule time goes into the third column. Last column is where you can enter unique IDs of the account from which you want to publish the post. See, that isn't... So that's only an image that you can do for the bulk option. I put that there and upload upload the video. I also need to do it into here. I think I follow one other dude that has a pretty decent system for this. Oh, so it's processing. That's what it's been doing the whole time. My mind is like donezo at the moment from thinking through all of this. I tried to see if he needs I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty trash so far. 
can't bulk schedule. Like what I would like to do is just drop in the 10 videos, select which accounts they go to, put in the title, like set up a default title, and then just hit like post one every hour or something. That's what I'd like to do. But like what the, what's going on here? Share now. Please upload a video. Yeah, mate, I have. I hate this when you spend time setting something up and it doesn't work as it's expected to. Oh man. Like, why would I reinvent the wheel when I can find someone who's already done it and done it very well? I feel like I follow people so that I can understand this. I'm pretty sure it doesn't follow me, so here we go. Stephen Pope. Automate 19... This, what are we doing? Okay, because this is trash. It's not, it's not doing it, is it? All right, let's stop you... No, you know what? Let's just keep you going in the background and let's look up. Okay, oh, we've been through a lot of different things now. Uh, the guy that we were just looking at, stuff looked good. It was just too much for what I needed. So now we're into Zapier, Zapier. And I've got to, oh, hang on. I've got to explain what happens here. When... When the Google Drive folder has 10 files, um, schedule, and that's 10 video files, schedule uh, all to post on Social media profiles on ah so I, I think what I want here is I'll create um, if I have let's say I have four fan accounts I'll create four Google Drive folders and when like this folder will be linked with you know the TikTok account the YouTube the Instagram and when this folder has 10 files in it, it automatically gets posted to that. And the same for this, this, and this. And then once it's done, you delete and you start again the next day. That's what I'm thinking. Only continue if, I don't know what that means. I don't need that. Create a Zapier table as a database. Log into your Zapier account and navigate to the tables. Yeah, but then I have to go and copy each of those. What a position. <laughs> I'd love to just... No, let's write it like this. Oh, wrong page. So... at a specified time of day, a specified time of day, sc 
schedule schedule all video files in a specified Google Drive folder to post on all social media profiles selected. Right? specify Google Drive folder to post on post to TikTok and Instagram. Okay, so at a time of day, find a file in the Google Drive. Create the video. No, we don't need to create a video. No, I'm just gonna copy this dude. When was this done? Yeah, early this year. Okay, history is creating the Zapier table as the data source, but what if I just use my own Google Drive? I don't need more storage yet, but new Google Sheet. Post automation, right? And then we're gonna copy whatever he's done here. So table name automation. Put the darn it. Where was I? I was here. Good job, I saved that intentionally. All right, caption. I'm going to pull that down. You're going to be bold. And then it's going to have the link and the title. Let's use the same wording to uh, caption text one. Okay. So in that case, then let's get to a new folder socials automation. And then I should put the file I just created like that should go in there. Nice. What is all this crap? Oh yeah. <laughs> Socials automation. Let's um, move to there. And then we're also going to have a folder in here. And it's going to be each of those. That's what I'm thinking. Yes. I write daily. I write clips, new folder. Who write dot shorts? And then the final one daily. Okay. So what count am I gonna proof send them to right now? I want to send to 
So O right shorts has some stuff on there. Let's do O right clips. So I'm going to then upload everything from 11 to 20 into here. Right. So then that you would call that the table, right? So now we need the trigger. From your zap, Zapier dashboard, click plus create zap. Learn the basics. Absolutely not. I haven't got time for that. Okay. Search for and select. Zapier tables, but we don't want that. We want Google Drive. No, we want Google Sheet. And, and then no, because we want start the zap. Don't, oh, I want it to run every day, don't I? Every day. This is what starts the zap. Time of day, I think let's do about, oh gosh, 2 p.m. Yeah. So at that time, it's going to go to Google Sheets. We're not going to, we're going to go. How's this one set up? No, we're not doing we yes, okay. Add an action, create single render. That's not what we're doing. We're not doing that part. We need then we're adding to the queue in buffer. Before you set up this action, you need a buffer account with your TikTok channel connected. Okay, of course. If you haven't already do this, first sign up for free and connect your account. So if you click the plus button, I guess I need to do that, don't I? Don't have, already have an account? No. I hate this Apple. Choose my own password. Save password. Um, where would you like to start? Schedule post to build your audience. Yeah. Yes. All right, daily. the buffer. Let's do, let's just do one by one so far. So O right daily. Is that the one I wanted? O right clips is the one I wanted. I guess we're trying that after this. Let's see, I have six. I 
And that's really not that bad. Yeah, you're looking at $30 a month normally. Let's, what am I doing? Before we go paying for anything, let's look at the ones we've got in here. All right, clips. Disconnect that. Disconnect that. And let's connect the all right clips for YouTube. I will just test it out first. That is what I'm thinking. I think I made that mistake. That's four emails from Buffer already. Dude, chill. Great. Okay, so we've got two in there. Now what is, what's going on? Do I know, dude. Great post. Okay. So that seems to be one at a time through here. So then Zapier, Zapier is gonna come in. Okay, so we've made that account. Add to queue as the action event. So change that. We're going to use buffer and the event is going to be add to queue. Okay. What do you say next? On the action page, select your TikTok channel in the channel field first. Continue. Campaign. Doesn't matter. I need to do that twice. Maybe I need to add to queue for each. First, you need to complete this step. Configuring this step gives you access to schedule test trigger. Great. Then, So now I'm trying to figure out how it gets the then okay on the action page select your TikTok account in the channel field first then select Zapier tables in the text field Bro, what? Then select Zapier table. So I should type in Well No, because it hasn't pulled. Do I need to add something in here, like the the Google Sheet? Create a new worksheet, like, no. Okay. 
find a row by a column and value returns the entire row if one is found. Which I guess is that. Like, even doing it this way, I'm going to have to copy the URL. Am I? Yeah, because, like, I upload all the files to Google Drive. And if the Google Sheet is the source of information, then I still have to copy all of the URLs over to that. Like, ideally, the program would just take every file within a, Google, within a Google Drive folder, name it appropriately, and post to the platform. I'm just trying to think it through in my head. Like YouTube has it sorted. I just dropped in 10 files, bulk edited the titles and done. But for TikTok, Like I'm just thinking, copying and pasting. Like, here's the process. I get all the videos done, right? And I have to take them, upload them into a Google Drive folder. And then I can either, I go one route. I send them all to my, the 10 files to my phone. Oh, fuck. But I would have to post, if I do four accounts, that would be 40 posts, 80 posts at a time. That's just not doable, is it? Let's have a look here. Automations setup. I'll set up an op eight project task. I feel like I'll just, I'll just pay someone to do it. Asha, what up, bro? I do think this is the best route because copying the link from Google Drive into Google Sheets, I only have to do once for each of the three platforms or two platforms.
Goodness me. No, because I still have to do 40 links. Right, because if I have 40 videos, each one of those is going to have its own link. Bro. That's ridiculous. That's what I should pay someone to do. So if I have the steps here, let me take a photo of this and then delete it. I hope you didn't see what was on my phone and I have to edit that out. All right, can you see okay? Can you see okay, darling? All right, so we know that um, Okay, so we have long form video. I think this is my, if I layer out the steps to get a long form video into lots of clips that are made into the different social media profiles. Step one, long form. Two, edit, long form. Three, like, uh, I guess edit is cut. All right, one, long form. Two is cut, long form. Three, <laughs> export, long form clips. Four is like caption, long form clips. <laughs> um, and then you have the um, export again long form clips number six you have what do you do once you've exported them you need to then upload to drive copy links to sheet And then once you have them copied to the sheet, that's when the automation runs, right? So this will be done four times because you will have four folders, depending on the number of accounts. And then you copy the links to the sheet, which is going to be 40. Jinkies. But... If we were to do this on our own, we would have all of those steps plus um, upload 40 clips. And that's going to be a flipping nightmare. Is it that bad? Was it that bad? It only took me about five minutes. I feel like the, the copying of the links. Let's see what we could offload. Okay. I could have Could have someone else do this, could have someone else do that, could have that, could have that, could have that. So honestly, I could have someone else do all of this, which is what I ideally want, isn't it? And I don't, you know, aside from their cost, I don't really care how they do this. 
but I would need them to do this, wouldn't I? Because I can't have them doing the manual posting to my accounts. So I need to have the automation set up. Which means I need an editor Zapier auto automations set up and someone to uh, someone who does data entry to get this done. That's what I'm thinking. Gosh. Okay. I think all of that is going to take a fair bit of work to get done because I'll have to train them up, find the right person, train them up until it's running smoothly. That's long-term goal. Short-term goal is just to get clips up. All right, I need to set a, I need to break that down into how I'm going to do it. And that's going to cost, I don't know what the cost is yet, but maybe that's something that I can't do for now, but I invest in. I don't think it's a wise decision to do right now. Like not knowing the revenue that could come in or that, it, that won't come in. <laughs> So, if I just do it manually for now, like while I do that. Man, what a load of work that has been. <laughs> I'm also going to set up a, like an automation in my phone for the title of what I'll be using for each of these. So what is it? Oh, goodness me. Here, here. And then from my phone, I'll post to TikTok, Instagram if I can, while also posting those to the YouTube channel. I feel like this can be done. So, I write clips. Mr. Woogies! Hello, Lilas. What is that? How'd you get that? You alright, babe? I'll turn this off. All right. It is, it's currently almost 3.30. I am absolutely booshed. But I think we, honestly, I think one of my main goals for today was to get the, the first part of the needle mat series done. But my, I think I set my goal, I don't know, honestly. <laughs> I think, I think I had two goals today. One was to get all these accounts set up and get posting. And the second was to do the needle map video, or at least plan it out. I haven't done that. I might, you know, we'll see how I feel later. Like, it's all about the creativity of it. There's no point half assing this. Like, then, you know, you end up just wasting all the time creating and editing it when you should have spent, you know, just been more focused in the planning. And I don't mean that as an excuse, because if I don't do that, then I'll start looking at, like the things that we determined over here. So that's not even going to be in focus for you, is it? But I, I shoot and edit my long form video. And at the same time, I can cut out the clips I need for the, for the clips. But the rest of it, I just, I can outsource. So I, I'll find myself an editor, someone who does their automations, and then someone who can do the data entry, which is just copying of the file link in Google Drive to another folder 
to the sheet. Yeah, but I, I've worked out. So we've gotten 30 videos uploaded to three different accounts. So, and each of those took me about 10 minutes to do so of just uploading. So 10 minutes for 10 pieces of content, call that, you know, 60 seconds each, surprisingly. It's not crazy bad, but it's tiring stuff. You know, not too tiring, but it's kind of tiring. <laughs> like that, the sharing it, I could do manually, right? Like it's awful, but I could do it manually. But the time it takes for getting the clips is just way too long. And I've tried some AI versions. They haven't worked as I like them to have. So I think, yeah, we get someone to... I think I have to cut those because I think that's like, that's where I want the content to be. Right, like good thing is only got another 30 videos to, sorry, 35 videos to get out of this edit. And then we're on to tomorrow's edit. So yeah, no shot. So I might be on later tonight to do the, um, I guess I won't be on. I'll just like do it from my phone when I go to bed. Yeah, let's start with finding an editor. A ton. I think, I feel like I have some people in my Instagram DMs already who might be able to, who might be interested in this. Dude, get this set up, we'd be flying. Hopefully it doesn't cost me too much per month. Yeah. And there we go. All right, so. Oh no, it's a weekend, isn't it? I might take a couple of hours maybe on each day if I can get up early enough before Rugi's up and get this done. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I've mentioned this a lot, but because I enjoy this, because this is a hobby, like it's like a hobby for me that just makes money that I put a lot of effort to, <laughs> but that is what's, what's like conflicting in my mind of, I really want, like for most people who hate their job, there's a, there's a no, like there's no decision between hanging out with family and doing extra work, right? But for me, I want to do both. So it's just like, which one's higher priority for me? And at the moment in my life, hanging out with me familia. Vin Diesel would be like, he would come over and give me a hug right now, wouldn't he? Vinny, Vinny D. Vinny D's nuts. Ah, oh, that's not funny either. All right, cool. See if we can find an editor and get some uh, sausage on fiber to help out. See you on Monday, yeah? <laughs> All right, um, we'll get the needle mat done. We will. All right, <laughs> bye chaps, bye. <laughs>